Personal development is the single most important investment for any woman who wants to make a difference. I am Shreya. I am an image psychologist and the founder of Your Image and I. From very early ages, I developed uh, struggles with confidence. I remember I did not have many friends. Uh, I lacked courage to, to say yes when required and definitely say no when required. Uh, in general, I had no love for myself. Um, things became worse as I grew further. Uh, I remember for the longest time, I just pleased everybody around me. And I knew that would be a problem not only in my academic and uh, professional goals, but also for my life in general. I became a serial job quitter one after the other. And in 2011, I quit my job and uh, formally started studying personal development and image management. In no time, I formed Your Image and I. In the last six years, I have personally coached uh, women professionals, women entrepreneurs, and uh, women business owners. When I heard their stories, I was surprised. Hi, I'm Soumya Tony. I'm an entrepreneur. I have a jazz books library in the premises that I live in, Kotunur. Apart from that, I also consult small businesses and negative EBITDA firms. I also work with individuals on a program called Heal Your Life, which deals with mind, body and soul of every individual. My name is Radhika Nair and I work in a bank and I'm an operations manager. My name is Nilima. I'm working in a software company as a director in marketing. My name is Ambika. I am a legal professional working in an MNC. I am Imal. I am from Assam. I moved to Bangalore three years back. Currently, I am working as a digital marketer and yes, more worthily as a digital analyst. What has been your biggest struggle being a working woman? One of the biggest struggles that I faced as a working woman was adjusting to my new environment. Just after the childbirth, your body goes through a lot of changes in terms of size and shape. So everybody who comments on it, you take it so seriously. Coming from a retail background and then moving to a fashion industry, it was very difficult for me to cope up. The struggles that I faced were more of internal rather than external, to be really very honest. A lot of things that I used to pull myself back from, thinking, oh, should I do this? What will people think, etc. We are a nuclear family. So balancing my hectic schedule, me being a director in marketing, I have multiple meetings, I have a multiple client to attend. So upon that, the balancing my home and my kid. So balancing both the personal and the professional life is pretty tough. This is a struggle I think that which working women can face in day to day life. Or juggling between work as well as the family, that's been a bigger struggle. We have that innate capacity to manage things and we are very successful more successful than men in doing this and i'm really proud of it actually honestly speaking i haven't faced any practical struggle till now as a working woman maybe because this is a very early phase of my working life and it has been just nine months straight out of college and i have been working it, it strikes me when my mom and the other elders often keeps reminding that yes, after a few years we'll get married and then life is not going to be this rosy. Any childhood conditioning that came in the way of your leadership? Being the youngest in the family, I used to get whatever I want. And I just had to show my teary eyes and you know, sad face to my parents and my father. And that's all I need to do just to get what I want. During childhood and growing up years, especially for girls, we have been uh, brought up in a very restricted environment where we are given a lot, lot of do's and don'ts. You're not allowed to do a lot of things. You're not allowed to take up bold steps. So they are some of the things which will really hinder your development. So you feel hesitant to go out. You feel hesitant to speak up. I'm still an introvert, a natural introvert which made me a shy and silent kid all throughout my childhood. And then, uh, as a person, I am of a smaller physical frame. So eventually, I was subjected to bullies, commentaries, and then deliberately, I was kept out of sports teams. So eventually, it, it uh, came to me as a deep conditioning that I cannot be a leader. Narrate one incident that made you realize that you need to work on your professional image. I was not up to date in terms of the changing the dynamic apparel industry. 
fashion industry in specific, I was just not aligned to it. Now there I felt that everybody around me used to be dressed so well, though I had the costliest dress that, you, that used to be on my body, but I was not confident. Suddenly one thing I remembered was, was I being heard properly, you know, if I'm in a meeting or if I'm in a, in a discussion or if I'm, I'm talking to anyone in office, am I being heard? Am I a, being able to articulate myself as well as I could? You know, sometimes you feel things are there in your mind and you're not able to say it and hence because of that people are not listening to you. I felt like, okay, maybe what I need is, uh, you know, instead of having these introspective thoughts about myself, I thought maybe it's time to get an external help. I was, I keep meeting my clients, I keep giving presentations. Sometimes uh, we feel, you know, are we, uh, are we lacking something? Uh, can we look much better? So. This image or dressing well or looking good matters a lot in this scenario. When you look good, this will boost your confidence. Public speaking, yes, that was the greatest challenge and it continues to be a challenge for me because of the inhibitions I had during my growing up years. I had to do a lot of effort, take external help. It was during the time of placements in my college, I was sitting for companies and I was losing out opportunities one after another. Then one day my placement coordinator called me to her office and then she told me one thing that uh, Iman, it's time that you work upon your image skills. So otherwise you are going to lose out opportunities which you actually deserve and which you are actually dreaming of. What is that one leadership trait that has uh, helped you go strong in your career and life in general? Hunger. I'm always hungry for more. Whether I'm succeeded or whether I face problems, I always keep striving for doing better and I demand more from myself. I love giving without any expectation to people and others around me. Speak your mind always. You have been called for a meeting or a discussion because people want to hear what you have to say, what your opinion is. And it is very important you be as honest and frank as possible. That helps you gain a lot of trust from others. You be honest. It can be with your client, it can be with your team member or it's within. You be honest within yourself and the people around you will accept you as natural what you are. Learning from youngsters. So that is one which which has helped me sail through because the younger generation, the younger lot are uh, very talented. They come with new innovation. Once you gel with them, you know how to uh, react, how to learn. And that made me uh, really progress in my career. My creativity and the power of visualization. I got a book published by 2014. And then once I was into college, people uh, started giving me a recognition of being a creative person. Do you think women give less attention to personal development and their personality? What message would you have for uh, working women out there? Women of these days, I think, give a lot of damn to what others have to say. They're so much worried about what others are feeling about them. Don't give too much of attention to what others are saying. Be in control of your life. All the power is within you. Personality is an ongoing process. So I think you should listen to your inner heart than going by what others have to say. We women give less attention to our personal and professional image. We are too much into living the daily life, the struggles of daily life, etc. that we forget that there is something very important called as image. Please ensure that you're looking happy and beautiful when you're taking on these struggles in your life. Looking good is within. It's not only the dress alone, the way you talk, the way you carry, the way you love yourself, the way you love others. In the entire package will be looking good. Give some time to yourself, whether you are a working woman or the woman at home. Take care of yourself, take care of your health. Just 5-10 minutes jo jogging, walking, exercising, anything. There is also a change in the trend where people are, women are very open to learning. They want to get, get into uh, certain grooming sessions and bring in the change what they want to be. Everything is within the power of women. It is only that how we channelize and how we plan to do it is what that matters. Of course, women, especially in India, 
over the time they get themselves overwhelmed with responsibilities responsibility for their family responsibility of their job responsibility of their in-laws everything eventually they lose uh, the insights of their inner being they miss the call of their soul every woman whatever be her age whatever be her class in india at least in india should give at least one hour per day to herself to reflect what she is and what she wants uh, with her natural instincts every person is a leader in his or her own style so it doesn't need recognition from people's at first place to be a leader so i've heard uh, my clients say all sorts of things like i've not been promoted for a couple of years and you need to help me i specifically work on outer behaviors that drive performance whether it's body behavior or vocal image or social dynamic which i think we women must learn especially at work and uh, corporate wardrobe and dressing i combine all these skill sets and i customize them for every client to to ensure that they find more meaning i genuinely feel that every uh, every working professional and especially women have uh, the right to feel acknowledged and empowered at work